Hey guys, I'm Isil TPW and welcome to a brand new series on my channel where I plan to bring you a tutorial on Minecraft every Tuesday. In this tutorial, I'll be looking to help you explore the wonderful world of Minecraft and all of the fantastic things that can be done on this platform. Some of these tutorials will include mods, texture packs and shaders, just to name a few. And guys, if you have any special requests, then leave me a comment down below as to what you would like to see me do a tutorial on. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install Forge and Mods in Minecraft. But before we get into this tutorial, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Okay, so let's get to it and let's see how we install Forge and Mods. So the first thing you're going to need to do is go to the Forge website, which is files.minecraftforge. Net. Then you're going to have to choose which version of Minecraft you want to install Forge for. If you're using the latest version of Minecraft 1.12.2, then that will be the first default one on the page here. But if you want to download for 1.10, 1.7, 1.4, no matter which version of Minecraft you have, then you'll have the downloads there and you just need to click on the version that you want and it's going to give you the recommended and the latest over here. I'm doing this for 1.12.2, which is this version here. You've got a latest tab and you've got a recommended tab. I always download from the recommended because it's the one that's been tried and tested. Latest usually is a beta version and may not be fully tested and may have a few bugs in it. I'm going to click on the Windows installer version here for download recommended. On the top right hand side you'll see a countdown. Wait till this runs down and because this is just an ad here and then click on skip. And then the download will start down below here. And once that's downloaded, just drag and drop it to your desktop. Now before we install Forge, there's a few things that we will need to do here first on your Minecraft launcher. I'm using the native launcher. If you're using the jar launcher, then the steps are a little bit different, but essentially the same also, just because of the look and feel of the launcher. If you don't have this little arrow here next to your play button, this little play button will allow you to have different releases here. To enable this up arrow here, which allows you to change the releases, click on launch options. First off, you will need to have advanced settings turned on. So make sure that that is turned on. Next, you will need to add new. And for whatever version of Minecraft you're looking for, you can add it in here. So if it's 1.7.10, for example, you add it in here. You can change an icon for that so it'll look different when you're loading up Minecraft. The first thing I will change in here for myself is I'm going to change the resolution to 1920 by 1080, which is the full HD version. And your JVM arguments. So this is set at one gigabyte of your RAM. This is how much RAM you're allocating to Minecraft. I would recommend that you use half of your allowable RAM. So I've got 16 gigabytes of RAM built into my computer. So I'm going to give eight gigabytes over. I won't need eight gigabytes, especially for Minecraft on its own. But when you go into modded Minecraft, you do need more resources. So that's why I always set it as eight gigabytes as a default for myself. So we now have Minecraft 1.7.10. You can name it if you wish, but I usually go by the numbers here for 1.7.10. Once you go back into your news and you have the play button here, you will then be able to see that you've got this up arrow, which will allow you to have different releases. And this is important because this is where Forge is going to be input. So then what you need to do is click on your Forge icon and that will bring up the Forge installer. You then need to install on client. You're not installing a server or extracting. You're installing a client and you're pressing OK. And that will download all of the libraries into your Minecraft folder. It only usually takes about a minute, so I'll be right back once this is done. And that is done now. Successfully installed client profile Forge for version 1.12.2. You just click OK on that. So once that's installed, you just click out of Minecraft and you restart it up again. Now we're going to launch options, add new, and scroll down to the bottom and there you will find your release for Forge. This is what we're using. It's 1.12.2, but it's using the Forge version. So again, I need to change my resolution here. And I'm also going to change the amount of RAM that I'm giving over, which is eight gigabytes. And I'm going to press save. And now I have 1.12.2 ready for setup. So I'm going to go back in here. I'm going to change the version. And it's going to play 1.12.2 Forge. 
press play and it's going to launch Minecraft and you're going to see that it's going to be loading up uh, a few things here. It's got a different loading screen here, it's just loaded in, but you can see here in the bottom left that you've got Minecraft 1.12.2 powered by Forge. So now you know that Forge has been installed. You've also got an option for mods in here and it shows you what mods are installed here. We haven't installed any mods yet. Now to install a mod, I've downloaded a mod here called Optifine. I'm not going to show you how to download this. I'll do a different tutorial on how to download and install Optifine separately. But just to give you an example of how to install a mod. First, you need to find where your Minecraft folder is. If you put in percentage sign, app data, it should pop up on your screen and you can see mine is already here, dot Minecraft. Click on that and it brings you into your Minecraft folder. I have a mods folder here. If you don't have a mods folder in here already, then you can just create a new folder and type in mods. Obviously, this isn't going to allow me to do this because it's a duplicate. To, to install your mod, you just click your mod, drag it, and drop it into your mods folder. You don't need to install it. You don't need to double click on it or anything. Just drop it into your mods folder and then you can restart up Minecraft again. And we're going to start up Minecraft. It's going to load up here. You're going to see the, the Mojang lo logo. And you're going to see the little Forge logo with the hammer at the bottom right hand side of the screen. And you're going to see some of the mods loading up. So now that you can see the installer for Forge is loading up. You can see the mods are installing. You've got Forge hammer in the right hand side there. And that's just installed now. You can also see that it's Minecraft 1.12.2 down here. Powered by Forge. But also it's got Optifine installed and that is that installed i'm going to click on single pair again go back into my world and just to show you that this is minecraft modded and you're using forge and a mod is installed and it really is as simple as that guys so if i click on the menu of options here and go into options and go into video settings you can see that there's a new button here called shaders we've also got quality and performance these are for optifine which aren't in the standard Minecraft menu. So guys, that's it for this tutorial. I really hope that you found this helpful and useful. If you did, then it would be awesome if you left a like in the video. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel to see more great tutorials in the future. Remember, every Tuesday we're going to have a tutorial. If you have any questions for me about this tutorial, then leave me a comment down below and I'll come back to you as quickly as I can. I reply to every single comment. Guys, thank you very much for watching this tutorial and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.